Okay, what is up guys? This is Zimmy from the Rubber Mushroom House and today I will be showing you on how to make a Minecraft server, bucket server for 1.1 using Hamachi. So first what you're going to want to do is download these two files from the description, from my description. The craft bucket file and starter. The starter just makes it a lot easier and it will either come in a 64 or a 32 bit so you need to download what bit you are if you don't know what bit you're using go to start computer and then properties and it will be right here under system type 64 bit operating system so download whatever one you're running, you're running and drag these two to your desktop where you can see them it's just a lot easier and then create a new folder and you can call it whatever you want, I'm just going to call it Bucket Server because I can. Yeah, what you gonna do about it? Eh. Okay, so once you've done that, just open it up. And then what you're going to definitely need to do, you have to do this. You have to rename the Craft Bucket 1.1 R1 thing. You can see how many times I've done this because my mouse keeps freezing or I do something in the wrong time. and. Oh. But yeah, you have to rename it to just Craft Bucket or it will not work. Trust me, I've tried it. So, when you click on Starter, Run, and it'll come up in a folder thing. Well, whatever this is. Here. So, once you've done, once it's done all this, it'll do, come up with Done. But I'll, then you see it's downloaded and put all that crap in there. So yeah, once all this is done, I'll bring it up. It's done. Okay, so it has completed. So once you it's completed doing that, it'll come up with done here. If it says failed to load, like failed to load list, don't worry, that's it's meant to happen. This is what is whatever happens on the first. Because when you downloaded it, it doesn't have any files. So it couldn't do that, so it just unpacked here. So once you've done that, you need to spell out STLP, stop, enter, and then it will be saving chunks, and then press any key to continue. Okay, once you've done that, just exit out, or whatever you want to do, and go to the other link in my description, and it will take you to this page. This is the Hamachi homepage, and this is where you need to download Hamachi. You need to download the unmanaged, to and you, need, you have to click this, you have to click the conditions of use. You have to click that and then download now. If you're using Mac or OS X, then click that. So yeah. So once you've downloaded it, just it'll look like this and drag it to your desktop and open it up. And it'll come in like this and ask you for like a name and all that. And then you need to switch on the power button and it'll start resolving all the stuff and probing. And then it'll come up with a bunch of numbers and colons and slashes here. Don't worry, it's a, meant to be a jumbled up mess. So yeah, what, once you've done this, let me just delete this. Delete, delete. So once you've got this, then you need to create it, and then you have to create a new network. Okay, so network ID, let's do official rubber mushroom mess. I'm the slowest typer ever. I really am. And then just do a bunch of numbers after this for the sake of one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Then do a password. You can do whatever you want. I'm just doing that for the sake of it. Create the new network and it'll come here and you can double left click. Off, on, off, on. So you need to make it on. And then for your friends to join the server, they have to join the network first. Like I've joined this and this. Giacomo's server sucks bad. So bad. And then you have to join it to join the server. So just minimize that. And then open this up. And then go into server properties. And you need to open up with a notepad or a word pad. And then this is where you need to pay attention. You have to take this, right click, and copy the IP. 
Uh, put it in the IP thing here. Paste. Ugh, jeez. Nothing ever works for me. Paste it right here. There we go. Um, so this is just the your properties of the server. So and allow Nether, true, if you want them to join do the Nether. The world name, let's call it the Rubber Mushroom House. Sorry, I don't talk when I type. Because I can't multitask. I'm a useless multitasker. Official server. Um, I have no idea what this is. It's just been updated for the... I don't know when. But I don't know what that is. Doesn't... I don't know. So if you want flight, uh, false. But if you've got another server, this port will not work. You will join your other server if you're using Hamachi. You have to change the port to something else. Like I've changed it to 25566. So that'll work. And then default, which is the normal. Like you change it to super flat if you wanted it to be super flat. Uh, this, I have no idea what it is, but this is the seed. Let's do, um... Oh, whatever, let's do that. A bunch of numbers and letters. So yeah, I need to go for a minute, bring you back later. Okay, I am back. Uh, I just went for like a walk. I've been away for a about an hour, but for you it would be like about a second, I think. Yeah, so where were we? Oh yeah, I just did the seed, which a bunch of numbers and letters. NPCs, that's the, um, the, the, the squidward looking beings. And then whitelists, false, if you want anyone to join, and true, if you want to put in like they, you have to, you choose the people animals online mode that's if people have true it's people that have actually bought the game that are um, that cannot join people that have only bought but if it's false that means people that have a cracked version of Minecraft the free cracked version can join but if it's true they can't PvP true that's player versus player difficulty one I'll change it to two because I'm a boss. Game mode zero equals survival. One equals creative and two I think equals hardcore, not sure. And then max players. The default is 20, but if you have more than four gigabytes of RAM, you can bump it up to like about 150, I think the max is for more than four. I've got eight, so I'll just make it 50 because I don't know how many people are going to join, but if you don't know how much, you just go into Start, Computer, Properties, and it'll be just above your um, system type that said Install Memory RAM 8GB. So, just put in how many people you want, Spawn Monsters, yes, Use Distance 10. If it's 10, that means they the stuff, like the rend, well not the render, the, the chunk updates. 10 is they'll update not so frequent and um, 9, no, 1 they'll update really frequently which will make the server lag and MOTD is just message of the day, really. Uh, so, oops. so, I'm going to change mine to a uh, cool sir. And then go file, save, exit out, exit out, wait no, whatever, just minimize that, so yeah, that's how you configure it, I'll be showing you how to make, uh, run, you, you can click, uncheck that box, but, yeah, still, you can, I'll be making a video on how to put in plugins and, also do for like um port forwarding i'll just bring you back once this is all done okay i'm back and the server is done so i can just close that off you, you can keep it up if you want uh so yeah just make it a bit bigger i'm gonna hold it full screen because that lags a bit more login 
Mojang. Two player. Cool server. Join. I already made one, but it glitched out. Whoa, what the? So as you see, I have joined. But if you want other people to join your server, oh yeah, Jesus. There we go. All right. Okay, so yeah, we know the server runs. So we can just back out. Exit out, exit out. Mm hmm, it's quite a nice seed. Oh well. So you can just exit out, exit out Minecraft. Stop the server. So S T O P. Stop saving chunks. And you keep continue. Right. So once you've done that, you make sure it's done and then ops. You want to op yourself. So dicer 105. Giacomo. Wait. Giacomo. 2000 and hunting. Do. And then the whitelist, you can thingy if you want to put in. Now there's something else that I needed to do. Oh yeah, when you logged in, you need to put in the um, I, the IP that Logmi and Hamachi give you. So that's that. You need to copy that in, and then the port. You know the port that I showed you. Oh really? The port. This is so properties. And then the port will be here. So, because I've already got the one. This is the, because the rubber mushroom house is server, this one. So it's just a plain server. Uh, the port, let me just go into properties. Uh, the port is 25565. So I needed to change that to 25566. So there, look at it, look at it. And you need to put that in, like, colon 25565 or 255, whatever. So, yeah, next video I will be showing you how to port forward or how to install mods into your thing and plugins. So, yeah, that's basically how you make a Minecraft bucket server for 1.1. Zimmy, signing out.